how to use the DTI gauge. In this video, we will be demonstrating and explaining how to use the DTI gauge, also known as the dial test indicator gauge. The gauge is very useful in the workshop as it compares the measurements to one hundredth of a millimeter, which in units is 0.01 millimeters. Before we start, anyone in the workshop needs to wear the correct clothing and the correct footwear, the correct PPE. So once the car is up in the air and the wheel is off, uh, in this example of measuring brake disc run out, stage two. So first we need to attach the DTI gauge using its magnetic base where it can be set solidly. Stage three. Once zeroed, mark the disc and rotate it in one direction, monitoring the movement of the needle on the dial test indicator to its maximum in both directions. Having completed this, it is simply a matter of removing the dial test indicator gauge and refitting the wheel, and we have our runouts measurement. The DTI gauge may be used to measure the runout on the brake discs, or it may be used on crankshafts or any other moving component where its end float movement backwards and forwards must be limited. So this shows you how the dial test indicator gauge is used and will hopefully help you with uh, using it in the future. 